Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. We are officially in December, which means we're officially getting ready for the holidays. Some of us have been getting ready since November. I usually, my family and I have a tradition, we don't start decorating for um, Christmas until the day after Thanksgiving. Um, but it can get really expensive and especially like as we were going through our holiday stuff and pulling it out of the attic, I realized that one of our boxes that we, um, it was one of those um, Tupperware boxes, um, it was a pretty big size one, um, got some moisture stuck in it somehow. I don't know if something I had put away still had moisture in it, but um, anyways, for a whole year it being in the attic in the hot and the cold and the hot and the cold and the humidity, um, everything in there kind of got like a black mold in it. There's not a leak in my attic, thank goodness, but that leaves me to have to go out and get more Christmas stuff and that can be pretty expensive. Luckily we keep things to a minimum, but one of the biggest trends that we've seen not only just this year but for the last couple years are these really cute cocoa bars or tea bars or coffee bar sets. And so I wanted to show you guys a really quick, which is key for me, it's got to be quick, really quick and inexpensive DIY. So. Unfortunately, as I was cleaning and putting things away, I put the actual stuff away in a really safe place, like the stuff that I used. And so I cannot find it for this video, so I kind of feel bad, but I really wanted to get this video up. And really, you don't need to see the whole process. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to show you guys really fast. So this right here, <laughs> don't break it, girl, is our little hot cocoa bar. So literally I had almost everything in here um, as far as jars and stuff like that I did get this um, this tray from the dollar it's not the dollar spot but because it was more than a dollar but in that little like bargain section in Target and it was five dollars but actually I got it for free and let me tell you how I got it for free and this is not sponsored although I wish it was Target has this new thing like their Cartwell app and if you have not uploaded it and you shop regular, regular girl I cannot talk um, if you shop regularly at Target then you need to get this app and it's called the Cartwheel, Cartwheel app and what it is is like at, like when you're in Target you can scan stuff and you can see if you have a bargain or if you can see um, if it's on sale it may not show that it's on sale but it'll pop up if it's on sale or because you have the app you might get it an additional 20% off um, and then after you shop there, you scan your receipt and then you get points for your, for like every time you shop there. So all the points start to accumulate. So one of the things that I received was like, um, a free trip or a free whatever item of $5 or less from their little Target Bullseye playground section or whatever. And so I went ahead and got this little tray. So this tray cost me nothing. So if you are not currently using that app, I really, really su highly suggest it. Um, again, I'm not being sponsored, but I just thought it was really cool because I was like really skeptical, skeptical, <sighs> I am like struggling to talk today. I was really skeptical, skept I was really skeptical at first, but um, it ended up, it's, it's worked out for me. I've gotten um, games for the kids at like 20% off that I didn't know were 20% off. Um, and then you can earn like a Starbucks drink. I don't know, but go check it out. Don't don't just listen to me. Check it out. I promise you, it's not a scam. I always like am leery that everything's a scam. But um, so yeah, I got that the tray for um, five dollars. Well, actually for free in the ta um, Target dollar spot. What I like about this tray is that it is light and it is like the the wood is not finished. So if I wanted to go back in, and I can stain it if I wanted to. And then it's mirrored at the bottom which I think is really cool because it reflects a lot of the light. Um, the cabinet that we have it at is kind of like a dark area. So the light shines down and it reflects a lot of the light. So I really like that. Um, I also got in the dollar spot from Target um, was that, I don't know exactly what you call this tape, but it's the tape, this like decorative tape. And um, I got this, I think it's called Buffalo Plaid um, tape. And then I got this other... I think it's also called buffalo plaid. It's not buffalo plaid, but it's some sort of plaid tape. And so all I did, and then this twine, this black and white twine. So the twine was a dollar, the tape was like a dollar. And what I did was all my mason jars, which I already had on hand, I just taped the lid of the mason jars 
with the tape and then I tied the little twine to it. So this one I didn't tie twine to it because it was honey um, and I didn't want it to get all sticky but I did tape it and then um, I had this little, um, if you live in the Katy area or you live in the Houston area, you're very well aware of a brewery, brewery company in the area called No Label and they were in Texas, if, it's a lot of fun, um, but they give out these little glasses um, when you get there. And so what I did was I just turned it around because I wasn't going to spend a bunch of money on this bar cart thing, um, but, and then I just taped the top. And so it just sits in there. The trees I got, the little drinking stir sticks I got from Target, these were $3. Unfortunately, they only had one pack when I was there. I ended up going back later and um, they had some more in stock. But I just went ahead and kept it with these three little sticks. And then I got these stir sticks right here that are gold and it says cheers and it has like confetti. I got those from... Um, Home goods, and I think they were three dollars. And I got like so much more for three dollars. So I think it looks good. It's a good, um, it's a good mix. And also, um, once Christmas is over, um, I'm sure we're not gonna go through all these stir sticks by New Year's. But I thought that would be really cute for New Year's too. Um, and then in the other, so in another jar, I have marshmallows. As you can see, my kids have already been into them. I got these um, cute little chalk. Um, stickers from I think Walmart like over a year ago and I just kind of place them on things and just write and I like because they're you can change them out you can wipe them out and so I really like that it's a great way to get multiple use um, I have these in my cabinet in my pantry and it kind of labels things that are in buckets like snacks and stuff like that and then I already had this jar in hand but I think they have something like this at the dollar store um, you can find also these chalk labels at Hobby Lobby and sometimes they have these chalk labels at um, Target as well. And then I also got these cute little napkins that say what the elf. I thought those were super cute. And so I, I think they were only two bucks or something, maybe three dollars at Home Goods. And so I have some sitting in the, in the little tray and I also have some sitting on our table. And then the other one has cinnamon sticks and again it's tied with the twine my daughter made a great um, suggestion my, my soon-to-be eight-year-old daughter she's like got more style than I do she had suggested that I should put candy canes in there so when they mix their hot cocoa it'll kind of melt in there so I thought that was really cute so that's another good idea that I'm gonna throw out there to you guys and then I have this other little jar that just has some Splenda and then like when you go to the restaurants and they have those little honey things Got a little thing, a packet of honey, and a little packet of raw sugar, and that is it. Oh, and then in the very back, I have a little thing of cinnamon. Um, I actually um, really love cinnamon in my coffee, and oh, and then this hot chocolate, in case you're wondering, is the Awalita hot chocolate brand. Um, my kids really like it. It's got like a little bit of um, a cinnamon spice kick to it. Um, but basically I just dumped that in here and so it looks a lot cuter a better presentation and we kind of just eyeball like how much we put into um, the cup of course my kids get go ham on it and put like all kinds of stuff in it but yeah it's really simple really fast it literally took me five minutes to throw this together and so I thought I would share this with you and I literally probably spent under ten dollars to do this entire thing and I really like how it turned out. It's really fun. My kids really enjoy it. And um, I usually don't like to have a lot of things on my counter. Um, but I really like how everything's kind of contained. And this was a perfect size tray for this project. So that is my little DIY tip and inexpensive thing for the day. And if you, at the end of the holidays, you can switch. You can just take this off and you can switch out the tape if you wanted to. I, what I really liked about this is that once the holidays are over, all I need to do is remove the tape and I am good to go. I can change it out with another tape that is relevant to the holiday or I can just leave it the way it is. So that is my tip as far as a quick 
easy DIY. It took me much longer to talk about it than it took me to actually do it. So let me know if you like this. Comment down below. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw the whole making of this, which I, t I tell you, it was easy. If I took the time to snap and make it at the same time, it was super easy. Um, so if you are not yet subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. If you liked what you saw, please make sure you like it. Make sure you, I probably already said that already. Make sure you share all those things. I really appreciate it. It helps me out and I will see you guys in the next one.